hi hello how are we welcome back to my channel it's anna welcome back to my home bedroom also i've moved out of my college dorm officially moved out of college officially i graduated so no more college dorm backdrops which is crazy because i started this channel freshman year of college granted i was home but i still started at freshman year of college so some of you guys have seen a whole lot of me, um, but I'm home. I am done with college. It's summer and that means I'm going to have more time to make things and more time to film and I'm so excited. I am so thrilled, but that's not why you guys are here. This is not that type of video. We will have a catch up video soon. That can be arranged, but I was laying in bed last night thinking about the Eras tour. I'm going next week. I'm going to the New Jersey show. When you guys see this, it's gonna be the day after May 27th if you're watching this when it comes out that is but if anyone's gonna be at the May 27th show make some noise okay but I was thinking about it and I was thinking about how all the different eras have all these different looks it came to my mind why not make a video all about crochet patterns that fit each era of like Taylor Swift's albums looks eras tour you guys get it you get the point so that's what we're doing today. I have a huge long list put together of crochet patterns that I think fit into each Taylor Swift era. I wish I had thought of this at the beginning of the tour. If you've already been to your show, I'm so sorry that I couldn't provide you with this assistance sooner. But if you still have your show or all my international girlies who don't have their dates yet, when it comes, this video might be helpful. For anyone who wants to crochet their outfit, crochet something a part of it hopefully this is helpful to you I had fun putting this together it was kind of hard for some of them I'll talk about it for each era but without further ado let's jump into all of these patterns quickly before we jump into today's video I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to today's sponsor BetterHelp BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you could tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, all you need to do is answer a couple of questions on your preferences and needs for therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether that's text, chat, phone, or video call. You can also message your therapist at any time, and you can schedule live sessions whenever it's most convenient for you. I actually used BetterHelp for a bit of time when I was at school, and that easy scheduling made it so much simpler to find time between all my classes. I get very, very stressed out. It was so nice to have someone to sit down and talk to, and my therapist did a great job giving me advice when I needed it and just kind of being a listening ear when I needed it. And luckily, even if she wasn't a great fit for me, BetterHelp allows you to switch to a different therapist whenever you need it at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you would expect from in-office therapy, but it's with a therapist that is custom picked for you, you have more scheduling flexibility, and it's at a more affordable price. So for anyone who would like to check out BetterHelp, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash anacollagen. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash anacollagen. And I will have everything linked down below in the description bar as well. Thank you so much again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it. Okay, first things first, we're starting with debut, of course. This one was a little bit harder to try to find crochet patterns for, but I decided to stick with the whole 2006 early to mid 2000s kind of look what Taylor was wearing at the time and like the look that she was wearing as she was performing um, which I think worked the best. So the first one that I have for you guys is the floral crochet top by Bow Crochets. It's a halter neck which is very popular at this time. I like the flower detailing on the bottom. I think that gives kind of 2000s sort of thing especially the 2000s that Taylor was wearing and I just thought it was super cute and super fun and it's a very popular style right now I think a lot of people have made been making um halter tops like this so you know it, it recycles every 20 years our trends come back so it works now and it works with 2000s Taylor so that's perfect this second one I have once again fits the 2000s vibe I'm not necessarily sure Taylor was wearing it but it's the 2000s vibe nonetheless and it's this crochet newsboy hat 
Um, I, just, I thought it was super cute and it's what some people were wearing and if that's the style you're going for there you go um there's a very similar one later in the video because it's very reflective of the red era as well but I thought this was super cute and I wanted to include it and then last for debut is this fairy floss top by Azora's shop um once again very reflective style of the 2000s I liked the tie front people were wearing that kind of I think I'm not an expert on decades fashion that is like super apparent that should be like the number one thing that you guys take out of this but it gave the style that 2000s Taylor was wearing in my opinion and it's super trendy now so it's not like you are making something that you'll possibly never wear again I think it's super cute it's lightweight um and I have it currently in my favorites on Etsy because I also want to make it very badly so Moving on to Fearless. This first one is a little bit of a joke, but I still included it. It's Horse Imergumi. I had to include some things that weren't just clothing. And like she has a song called White Horse. Come on now. So if you're trying to go as Love Story Taylor or Fearless Taylor in general, I guess, you can make yourself a little horse, a little horse to ride around the stadium. I feel like everyone would love to take a picture with that. Um, I just thought it was super cute. And obviously this one isn't white, but you can make it in white. Fearless also came out in the 2000s. This time was 2008. But the fashion is very similar to debut, so I kept on the halter trend. This is the halter top basic by Javeria Ortiz. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, basic halter top pattern. You kind of can't go wrong. Once again, you can wear it even beyond the heiress tour, but I figured this is a good classic. Um, something Taylor might be wearing and kind of reflective of the style of the time that the original album was released. I know re-releases are also into question, but we're going with the original here because that's the era that she was, I guess, influenced by or whatever. And this last one is very reflective to me of Love Story. It gives that kind of vibe. This is the Jewel Corset Crochet Pattern by Hooked by Summer. I like how the tie goes down the front with the bow at the bottom. That gave renaissance regal castle princess taylor to me so if you're looking to go with the love story look specifically i think that this could be really cute with a dress underneath or whatever i think the corset look is very reminiscent of love story and these colors that she uses the bow in the front all that like i said makes me think of it a fair amount which is why i included it Okay, moving on to speak now, I had a bit of a harder time with this one, but that's okay. We've reached 2010, all right? But the first thing I'm starting with is not a decades piece, it's a lyric piece, trading baseball caps for crowns. So I've included a crown pattern. I love Long Live. I'm so happy she's re-releasing it after I've graduated college because I wouldn't be able to take it if I had it right now. So thank you, Taylor, for that. Love you. If you want to make a crown, because you're trading baseball caps for a crown, this pattern is perfect for you. This next one was the closest thing I could personally find to her classic purple dress that she wore on the Speak Now tour. This is the Juliana dress by I Will Crochet. I think the style is very reminiscent of it. Obviously, you can make it in that perfect purple color if you want to go with that look. I thought it was super cute. It's the perfect length. I just think overall it's a perfect basic pattern and it's close enough to the style that I think you can get away with it, especially with the right color. And now it's time to be real. Everyone smile. And this last one, I did the very best I could. I searched and I searched for a flapper style dress. It was kind of a long shot, but she has that beautiful gold flapper dress that she wears. Um, Sparks Fly, Speaking Out Tour, all that good stuff. But I couldn't find anything close enough to that. I couldn't even find a top that was similar enough to that. So I've included this lacy crochet flapper dress. It gives that flapper style. You could probably tie yarn on to make it look flapper-esque, but I figured it was kind of similar. And I know that there are some really, really pretty shiny yarns out there, gold shiny yarns, um, glittery yarns that you could use that'll make it look that style. So if that's something you want to try to do, that could be really fun. I was really bummed I couldn't find any flapper patterns. I spent a long time looking for that one. Moving on to the red era. This was the easiest to find everything for, and I had a wonderful time doing it. First of all, we have literally the red hat by Grace Lemon. It is literally the red hat. 
it is literally the red hat i know we said that we were focusing on when the album actually came out so for this one it's 2012 but this like was too good to not include you know what i mean so obviously it's a recreation of the hat in taylor's newest album cover for red when she re-released it i think it's super cute it's super perfect if you want to go with this era and i was so excited when i found it the next thing I included was based on what she was wearing on tour of the red tour. She entered her shorts era, if I do say so myself. She wore like black shorts with a cute little like striped top or something. She wore like the shorts with the jacket and the top hat. It was very shorts heavy. She wasn't wearing a lot of dresses that I found. So I got uh, these really cute Ellie ribbed flared shorts pattern. Um, I didn't get it. I just found it, but they're by Maddie Denmark. I thought that they were perfect if you wanted to do the shorts moment with a cute little top or something. I just thought that that was very reflective of what she was wearing on stage, especially at that time. And then of course, you knew it was coming. It's the scarf pattern. This is the All Too Well inspired scarf pattern by Carol Crochet Design. I had to include it. You knew I had to. Come on now. That's like I would be silly not to so if you're looking to go with all too well taylor i don't know why you would but i also respect it you can make a little scarf to go with instead of buying it there are of course knit patterns as well but we're focusing on crochet here so this one seems like a really good one someone is pushing their grill up the road hey what's going on moving on to 1989 by this point she is in her skirt era you know she's moved on she's done with the shorts not really she's still wearing them but still she's wearing a lot of skater skirts it's very in style at this time so it makes sense so this is the easy skater skirt pattern by tcddiy not sure how to pronounce that um but it's just a classic skater skirt very much tailor at the time very much what she was wearing um you kind of can't go wrong and it can go with a lot of other things beyond just an outfit for the heiress tour which is great this next one i saw and i also quickly thought of 1989 taylor was wearing a lot of crop tops with her skater skirts at this time but there's one outfit in particular where she's wearing this wrapped crop top and this one reminded me of that obviously this is a two-tone one you could do it one tone to make it look a little bit more like taylor's top but this is the wrap crop cami by Brittany boheme and I just thought it was very similar to what she was wearing. I liked the cutouts on the side. That very much reminded me of it. And it's just a super cute pattern. And then lastly for 1989, I just included this classic crop top. This is the Talia Tube Top by Hey Faustin. And I just thought, once again, can't go wrong. She's wearing a lot of crop tops at this time. It's a very simple, basic sort of thing. I feel like you'd even use this for bejeweled because of that bejeweled top that she's wearing. However, you need to glue stuff onto that. Um, but you just can't go wrong with the classic tube top. You can kind of do this for any era, for any layering, whatever. But I figured it worked well for 1989 because she was wearing a lot of crop tops then. Okay, we're moving on to reputation. This was a little bit hard to find in my opinion. I couldn't really find, I don't know, a bodysuit or a one pant bodysuit. I don't, you, the style that she was wearing is not very reflective with crocheting, but I still found some things that I think would work pretty well if you want to make something and dress as reputation tailor. So the first thing I found is the royalty top by Brittany Boheme. Once again, uh, I just thought this was super cute. The mesh reminded me of a lot of the fishnet that she wore at this time. And she made it in this purple color, but you can make it in a black, a green, probably black though. Next, I had to be a little silly again. This is a snake plushie. This is by Susanna Berra. Um, once again, if you brought a crochet snake as reputation tailor to the Eras tour, that would be so funny. Have everyone hold it and take a picture. That's so silly to me. Um, I just had to include it. Like, the snake is such an obvious part of the album that I would, I would be silly not to include it. You know what I mean? And then, finally, I found this really cute mesh dress pattern this is the don't mesh with my heart dress crochet pattern by sunflower rays i thought it was adorable okay once again has that fishnet mesh look that i think taylor was wearing a lot of um during that time obviously this artist made it in black i really like the flared sleeves it feels dramatic it feels reputation to me um and layered with a cute black dress like 
these models did here is super fun. Um, so yeah, I figured that that would also fit kind of in the reputation sphere. Okay, moving on to Lover, I had a great time finding these patterns because there are so many cute ones, okay? I actually have a bonus one for this one. But we're gonna start with the obvious choice, the Crochet Lover top pattern. I saw the artist make this on TikTok, I think. She made it for her show and then she wrote a pattern for it, but I obviously had to include it. The artist's name is Peyton Jance and it is just absolutely so cute. It is perfectly Lover, of course. The colors are perfect, the heart in the front is perfect. It is just so cute. If you're looking to go as Lover Taylor, this is like, I think a lot of people saw this when she was making this on TikTok. It is so cute. Next one is a little more subtle depending on the color you use to make it or I guess how you make it. But this is the Open Heart Crochet Top Pattern by Exala, Zala? I'm not sure how to pronounce their username, but I thought it was super cute. It's more subtle because it's not as bright and in your face, as many colors, whatever. But the heart cutout right on that chest is so cute. I just thought it would be really fun to do with like a pair of jeans or a skirt if you're looking to do something a little more simple. Um, I just thought it was adorable. This next one is the Heart Corset Crochet Pattern by Orvoki Designs. I saw this and I immediately added the link. It was so cute and obvious to me. The heart shape of the corset is adorable once again in my opinion it's a little simpler you could do this with like a pair of jeans if you wanted something a little more casual um and i just really love the shape of it i think it looks good on every one of these models and i really loved it it's perfectly lover and then i saw this one as i was looking for other patterns but i thought it was perfect so i had to include it as a little bonus for lover this is the sweetheart varsity jacket pattern by the stitch snitch so cute like come on the heart the colors it's perfect it is so perfectly lover taylor i absolutely love it um and i had to include it okay so moving on to folklore was actually a little bit harder than you think first of course we're gonna start with the folklore cardigan duh there is a free youtube tutorial for it it's awesome um i had to include it if you have your own cardigan you can wear that or you can make one also super fun but besides that, like the cardigan's the main thing that people think of with that album. So having to move past that was hard. Um, of course, it's an obvious decision to make it, but to find other options, a little bit challenging. But we did so. I think we fit. I think we found it. Okay. I cannot explain to you guys how I think this dress works with folklore. I don't think I really can. But I looked at it. And it kind of made sense in my head. It's the Kiki dress by Juicy Loose Creations. It is just a long dress. It's a bit of a mesh look. It might be the color yarn that she used that makes me think of it. I just kind of, I guess, think of like long skirts for Folklore and Evermore, if I'm being honest. Um, I feel like this would be good for layering. If you put like a big slouchy sweater over this, I feel like that gives Folklore Maybe that's why I was thinking of it. I know it looks very beachy. It's like a beach dress. It's a cover up. But I think you could also do some fun layering with this. And it would look very Folklore Taylor-esque. This next one is, dare I say, heading a little bit into Evermore territory. But I included it in Folklore because I think Folklore has plaid too. Evermore is just more plaid in my head. But anyways, I still included it here with Folklore. This is the modern plaid sweater crochet pattern by the cozy knot crochet super cute looks super comfortable you can make it super oversized and that would be in my opinion very folklore tailor i feel like all the sweaters she was wearing were very oversized and cozy um and i think it's so cute it's very subtle plaid which is why i think it works in folklore maybe a little more than evermore but i really love this one and it just looks like it would be good to layer and be nice and cozy warm if you want to be comfy at the show. Moving on to Evermore, very similar to Folklore, let's be honest, but there are differences enough that I could find different patterns that I think you'd be able to tell the person apart depending on like the album they are, right? So this first one is the Watson dress slash top you can make either by Red Bean. Um, it is by by Red Bean. And this kind of plaid look made me think of evermore like i said it could be a top or it could be a dress i think the dress is super cute 
that's what really reminded me of Evermore. Did I say Folklore before? I'm getting confused in my own head. It reminds me of Evermore. I thought it was super cute. Choose the right colors that fit that album and you're good to go. You're golden. This next jacket was the closest thing I could find to the Evermore jacket. This is the 95-34 jacket by Phil Katia. Um, I assume it comes, I don't know, maybe it's just like a number thing. I don't know, whatever it is. It, the look reminded me of Evermore quite a bit. Um, it's not as long as the Evermore jacket, but I feel like that'd be, you could just add, keep going with the pattern that they established all the way down. Um, and I think you could figure that out pretty well. But I just thought it was super cute, pretty plaid-ish, and reminded me of the jacket, which is, in my opinion, like the cardigan of Evermore, just because it's so, it's like the staple, it's the look, it's Taylor's look of that album. Then lastly, this is the Ivy Crochet Corset Pattern by Lily Louisa Crochet. Reminds me of the song Ivy, of course, my favorite song on the album. It's just super cute, it's super fun, and if you wanted to dress up specifically as a song, this is a great idea. Um, I think it's a little more subtly Evermore, but as I'm saying this, I don't think it's subtle at all. I think everyone would know that you're Evermore in like the very best way, you know what I mean? And finally, we are at the very last album, the most recent one, Midnight's. We flew through this. This has been so fun. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, but for the final album, it's a little bit hard to find bedazzled things with crochet. That's just not really the thing. But I think all of these kind of embody the idea and I'll explain for each of them. So for this first one is the Wavy Crochet Sweater by Bi Retro and specifically these colors and the look of it I guess but the colors really made me think of the anti-hero music video. It's just that retro-y kind of look to me. I liked it a lot um, and if you follow this exact color pattern you would be pretty on par with what Taylor was wearing in the video color wise. Um, I just thought it was fun. I thought it was super cute. This was a pair of like flare pants, like orange flare pants. That's so anti-hero. You know what I mean? This next one is not super midnight's as a vibe sort of thing, but it is at the same time. This is the Star Halter Top by BB Be Button. BB Button. And I mainly thought of it for the star aspect. Midnight, stars, that whole thing. If you wanted to do just a top that wasn't exactly a recreation of a music video or something like that. This could be super fun. I like this a lot and I've wanted to make this pattern for a while. Um, it looks super cute and I feel like if you make it with maybe a dark blue that has some shimmer in it, that is so Midnight's of you. That would be so cute and it would be exactly on theme with the whole album. And then last but certainly not least, I had to find something that was reminiscent of those big fuzzy jackets that she wears in this era and so i found this crochet faux fur coat jacket by for the frills store um it is made with a specific type of crochet yarn you could kind of use this yarn dare i say for any cardigan pattern but because she made this pattern specifically with this yarn i'm assuming she has detailed instructions on how to work with it because it can be a little bit challenging at times but i just thought it was so cute and it's very reminiscent of that big fuzzy jacket that taylor wears during this time she wore it when she was walking around in that midnight blue dress with the stars i'm pretty sure she wears it on stage i'm not trying to see too many spoilers so i could be wrong but I just thought it was very reflective of that kind of thing that she wears during the whole Midnight's era. And with all of that being said, those are all the patterns that I found to go into each Taylor Swift era to match with the album, to match her vibe of the time. I hope you liked all of them. I had so much fun making this video. It was hard to find some of these patterns, but it was very fun. And I think the ones that I found fit very well. And if you have any crochet patterns that you can think of that would go with any of the Taylor vibes albums eras leave them down below for our fellow swifties who want to make something for their show or just something in general it doesn't have to be for the show it could just be for you we don't we, we make the we make our rules you know what i mean but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and liked everything if you end up making any one of these let me know and if you're going to be at the metlife stadium show on may 27th let me know and we can trade friendship bracelets because that would be so fun um, but yeah, that is all I have for this week's video. I hope you loved it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. 
and put on the post notification bell if you want to know every single time I post a brand new video. It'll hopefully be more consistent now that I'm home. I have a bunch of things I want to make this summer and I can't wait to just hang out and knit and crochet with you guys. I'm so excited. But yeah, that's all I have for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so very dearly and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.